meet NASA's newest Arctic rover, the Goddard Remotely Operated Vehicle for Exploration and Research, or GROVER for short. Unlike its cousins on Mars, GROVER is headed to Greenland to study the accumulation of snow and ice. This is like a spacecraft that operates on the ground. You see what I mean? It's just like a spacecraft because it has to survive in a hostile environment, unattended for months at a time, while we are communicating with it sporadically, just like with a satellite, to, to interrogate it and then send it a command or two to change its operating mode and then let it alone, let it do its thing, and then uh, come back later and check it again. Grover was actually designed by several teams of engineering students over the last three years who tested different prototypes on different kinds of terrain. Grover is actually a great project. It brought together scientists, engineers, and educators. And how it came to me, actually, as the scientists involved, was the engineers came to me and they said, hey, we want to build a robot. Do you have any science that a robot could do? And I said, well, yes, actually, I do. I spend a lot of time studying accumulation on the ice sheets. And how we do that a lot is we drive snowmobiles or we fly aircraft with radars in them. And I said, well, I bet a robot could carry a radar. And I started asking them questions because I didn't know a lot about robotics. And they answered my questions and, and, I, and I gave them um, kind of requirements. Could this robot drive 50 kilometers a day? Could it be autonomous? What sort of terrain could it go over? What sort of winds could it withstand? The result was a six foot tall, 800 pound rover comprised of a ground penetrating radar, large solar panels, rechargeable batteries, a computer, and repurposed snowmobile tracks for locomotion. The hope is that Grover can collect much more data than humans could on the ground. When we're on snowmobiles, uh, we could do about 50 kilometers in, in one day. That would be a, a difficult day, 50 to 75 kilometers for scientists to be riding on a snowmobile. You get cold and you need to stop for the day. So if Grover can meet that um, expectation, uh, Grover should be able to gather more data than a human could uh, working in the ice sheet environment and for a longer period of time. It'll go slower than we would with snowmobiles, but uh, when it goes for 24 hours, which a human can't, it'll actually gather more data for us. That whole idea is great because if you can get that to work, then you can run robots like this all around Antarctica and Greenland and places like that where it's very harsh and, uh, and difficult to operate uh, manually.